I'm giving you real hair today, real face today, real today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. Um, I decided today to give you guys what most of you subscribe to me for, which is the realness. I mentioned before that I wanted to do a finance video for y'all because I don't like the fact that it's so stereotypical for the younger generation or our generation to not be financially stable and that just doesn't sit well with me. So I'm feeling real banker mode today and I'm going to give you guys some tips, especially since it is the new year, I want to give you guys some tips on getting your coin right. I don't really know another way to say it. Let's just jump right into the video. First thing first is going to be saving. I want to be clear with y'all. I hate saving, as I'm sure most people do. Um, when I go into a store, I absolutely want to buy the first damn bag I see. That's how I feel. If I see a cute shirt, I want it. Now I will say, me being a single mother at a young age definitely helped me curve the need or the um, the hunger for splurging. Okay, because my thought was always, if I get this, what Josh gonna do? If I buy that, what Jordan gonna eat? That kind of thing. <laughs> That's just real. Um, but for those of you who don't have those problems, or if you do have them problems. The most important thing is going to be saving. You need to start saving something for a rainy day. Now, hear me good and clear. If you are attempting to save and it just is not working out for you, I hate to tell you, honey, but it's time to downgrade. If you don't have anything left for a rainy day fund, it is time for you to downgrade your everyday life. You have got to start having something left over. Now, just like nobody likes to save, nobody likes to downgrade. I know this. But if you want something for later and you want to have things in this life, baby doll, there are going to be some things you have to do and some sacrifices you have to make. Hear me on this. Trust me. I got you. When I say to cut some things out of your life, I want y'all to know exactly what I mean. I'm not saying to you, hey, if you paying your full light bill, just start paying a little piece. The devil is a liar. No, I'm saying if you got the nails done, baby doll, but you don't have 20 to set aside every payday, that's your nail money. Um, if you are watching the latest and greatest of Rob and China, but you do not have the money to one day buy you some china cut that cable off baby um your bundles we gonna have to go ahead and embrace the natural okay if you just don't have any money left over the bundles are not for you this week this payday this month whatever moving right along i think financial stability starts with ownership of your situation you have first got to admit to yourself hey i'm in this situation because i or i fucked up the church's money when i overspent on my credit card went out to eat too much bought too much mcdonald's um been clubbing too much come on come on can, I mean, can I, can I take it there or are y'all, that was too, okay, so that was too, that was too far. Okay, all right, all right, got it. You have got to take ownership of your situation. If y'all are wondering, like I said, I do write down notes here for you guys. Um, so that's what I'm looking at if you're wondering. There's nobody on the floor telling me what I want to tell y'all. You've got to take ownership of your situation, especially if you are in a debt situation. I don't, I'm, I'm, I am talking about like you know school loan debt but i'm more so talking about your overdrawn account and your um large large credit card bills you did that you put yourself there you need to take ownership of it say hey this is what it is i put myself here now it's time to get it myself out 
that's just what it is. You cannot continue to dwell on, man, I am overdrawn this much, or man, my credit card limit is at this or this or this or that. Um, instead, accept it, take control of it, and fix it. Okay, another good thing for you could be to tell someone that you trust about your financial situation. Like if you don't have a spouse who you can hold accountable and they can hold you accountable or you know, a partner or whatever, um, maybe telling your parent, because I know if Joshua came to me and said, hey, my mom, mom, my phone is looking like this, 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 and that. Every time he comes to me later and says, hey, I bought a new pair of J's, I'm a little bit tearing to that ass because I want him to do better. So it's gonna be, you're gonna need someone that's gonna hold you accountable for making your situation better. Not someone who's going to say, oh, that's how it is. Oh, well, you wanna go out to eat today? Or, oh, that's how it is. Girl, that man is cute. Oh, that dress will look cute on you. No, you need someone who's gonna make you better or who's gonna encourage you to be better and do better. So a best friend, your parent, your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, spouse, somebody who's gonna tell you like a TI is. If we are having trouble saving, you going to work every day, or maybe you ain't going to work every day, I hate to break it to you, but it's time to A G and Q S and Q S T L E hustle for me, baby. Hustle. Make that hustle work for you. You have got to find uh, jobs, pick up a second job, figure out how you are going to get the money to fix your money. It's time to get out there and hustle, not in the way that you see everybody faking and phony on Facebook and Instagram hustling. No, I'm talking like real live dirty work hustle. Nothing good comes easy. You are going to have to work your ass off. Most importantly, getting rich quick does not exist. Getting rich quick does not exist. Getting rich quick does not exist. It doesn't exist. Unless you were born with that silver spoon in your mouth, which I'm assuming most of us, especially if you're watching this video, were not. Get up, get off your buns, go do something about your situation. Got it? Got it. When I talk about hustle, I'm talking about that grind even if you have a full-time job. It is time to activate your passion. I 100% believe your gift will make a way for you. What is already in you will make a way for you. Tap into it, use it, get this money. The biggest thing is financial forgiveness. Once you hold yourself accountable, you have to let go of, oh man, I'm in this hole, or oh man, I can't believe I did that to get here. It doesn't matter anymore. You've done it, you're in it. That's, it just is what it is. And moping around about the situation isn't gonna make your life any better. So don't, y'all know, I know. It is always easier said than done, but somebody did it which lets you know that it can be done. I was 18 with two kids, depending on me to eat at night, to put clothes on their ass and a roof over their head. That was my job because I was their mama. I made it work. It was some things that I just couldn't do, some shit I just couldn't have. And at the end of the day, I was 25 and purchasing my first home. And it was so, quick, so easy. I didn't even realize I was for real purchasing a home. I really do truly believe that's because it was my time. I put in the work, I worked hard, and it paid off. That's, that's just what it is. Now, I will say, no, I am not walking around in a big ass um, floor to ceiling window, loft apartment in the hills. No, I am not walking around in a YouTube guru mansion, no but I'm comfortable, I'm happy, my man is happy, my kids are damn happy, and we're not struggling. It is all about sacrifices at the moment. I don't feel like any of it's impossible. It's not fun, but it's not impossible. Got off on a little bit of a tangent there, but I said all that to say. Financial forgiveness is the first step to being financially healthy. You didn't screw it all up overnight. 
you will not fix it overnight, but you do have the power to change it and it will be worth your sacrifice in the end. I believe that, I know that, I've seen that, I've experienced that. I'm giving you real hair today, real face today, real today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you made it this far, for number one, thank you. And make sure that you subscribe for more Kenyatta realness. I love you guys so much. I only want to help you. I can only tell you what I've been through. That's it. Thanks so much for watching.